Hello everybody, welcome back to the NASCAR Diecast review here today on the channel. Today we got ourselves a really, really cool truck series diecast that I got today in the mail after purchasing it a couple weeks ago off of eBay. And for this driver in particular, this is the first diecast from him in over two and a half years, going back to late 2021. So it's been quite a while. Very happy to get another diecast from this driver. And if you saw my community post on my YouTube page of who it is, you know, who the driver is, who the team is, you... You'll definitely know who I'm talking about, what this diecast review is going to be about. So without any further ado, let's begin, shall we? It's on no other than Matt Benedetto's 2022 number 25 Rackley Roofing Chevrolet Silverado for Rackley War Racing, I guess you could say. Very cool diecast. This is Matt Benedetto's Talladega Truck Win. Yes, you heard that correct. This is a Matt Benedetto Race Win diecast, which is going to be freaking awesome as you can see the the detail to the you know the side um the passenger side looks really awesome as you can see uh, this is basically de benedetto's uh primary 2022 paint scheme um but reinverted with you know um the pink numbers because you know this was ran during a breast cancer awareness month so let's go on the box details you got 2022 season NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Yeah, that's outdated. 2022, like just like with this box, this box is outdated. Um, as well with the Camping World Truck Series, man, I will admit I do miss the Camping World. You know, I do miss Camping World. You know, sponsoring the Truck Series. I'm happy with Craftsman coming back, but like it's kind of a shell of its former self. You get what I mean? The Truck Series. You got Matt DiBenedetto's name right down there. Uh, ages four and up even though this looks more like a collector's item because of the race race win detail which we'll get to in a second um ages four plus like i said reckley war uh matt de benedetto 20, number 25 reckley roofing talladega win 2022 silverado limited edition and they got i think the barcode wherever that is right there or probably nascar you got you know axe racing collectibles lionel racing the official diecast of nascar there's the barcode if you want to see that. That's probably the barcode. And that's the QR code right there. Um, www.lionelracing.com. And then you just copyright and such on the bottom. I don't know what this is down here. It's just the numbers and letters. Someone can correct me. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get on with this review, shall we? As you can see, the die cast is now on the, out of the box. Now let's bring in the die cast, shall we? I said that for like the millionth time. I don't know why. Uh, here it is. Wow. Very cool stuff you got here. Finally got a Chevrolet Silverado uh, updated one, even though it still has the old mo molding from 2021. Still, though, looks really cool. And I apologize if my voice sounds a little off. Uh, it's mainly because, you know, I uh, was around someone who was vaping. Like, I was on a bus. I was towards the back of the bus. And someone just started vaping for some reason, even though it's directly said on in the bus that they had that there was no no smoking, no vaping slash e-cigarettes. But there's still people that, you know, that, you know, don't listen to that, which I just don't understand. I think they're stupid for not listening. And I wish they'd do that on their own time because I don't know if it's due to, you know, that why my lungs or my throat's a little sore or it's due to, um, you know, maybe me getting a little cold or my throat getting sick because I did feel it getting a little sick before getting on the bus. However, I was outside when it was kind of chilly, but it was warm, so I'm not sure. I guess I'll find out eventually, but back to the review. I just wanted to point that out, just get that out there. This truck looks awesome. And the fact that it's a Matt DiBenedetto race to win diecast, it's going to go well with my Landon Castle Voyager diecast and the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Um, Daytona 500 race to win diecast. Definitely going to put this up on my table beside my bed as this video is recorded on. So yeah, let's go over the fine details of this truck. You go to the, the windshield of the truck. You got a camping world right there. You got Rackley Roofing and the, the logo right there. The, I don't know what that is. And then you go to the front end of the car. And I do remember that most that pretty much all of these, you know, Talladega truck races is always is always guaranteed to be a wreck fest. I mean, look at the 2021 race. This one wasn't as much as a wreck fest, but there was a lot of bumping and banging. 
So I guess that's where the tape is. Like, I think even like the, it got pushed in. That's how there's tape because Matt DiBenedetto rear ended somebody pretty hard. But you, you see uh, Simpson, ARP, Sunoco, number 25. Um, I'm not sure if I said in the introduction, the reason why it's pink is because, you know, this truck was ran during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's basically DiBenedetto's primary 2022 car, but just reinverted numbers. Recolored numbers, you got the grill right there, Chevrolet bow tie, the headlights, looks really, really cool. Is there a Rackley logo right there? I'm not sure. Go to the right, the driver's side of the truck, you got Goodyear right there. Um, I think there's some tire mark right there, and you got your contingencies right there. NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, Kinetic, Holly, Tilcon, uh, SKP, Lincoln Electric, Aerobrass, Mobile One, NASCAR Race Truck, um... Dilco, I think that's what it says. Something, something, SJ, something, I don't know. That says, honestly, it's kind of a little too tiny. You got Matt DiBenedetto's name on the name rail. You got number 25. Um, got right here, um, you know, the, 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 the side of the car where the, the, the spot, like the side of the truck, um, the jack stand and the other stuff right there. You got, you got, um, Chevrolet. Uh, you got the Chevrolet logo. Um, you got GMS Racing. I'm actually shocked that. Yeah, I forgot that this was a GMS Racing aligned team. Um, uh, Rackley War. What else does that say right there? I have no clue what those logos say. Pardon me. Um, I yeah, I can't tell what that says. Honestly, to be honest, you got GMS fibers or factors again right there war uh construction or war what does it say war shocks i think it says feel the grip right there i don't know what that says under there if if you know if there was anything um there is obviously there's rackley roofing right there uh, nc or ncs um i i have no deal what that says down there uh, I can't see. You got the American ethanol ring. Um, that's basically the driver's side of this truck. Now we're going to get onto the juicy stuff right here and take a look at this. Now uh, on the restart with like two to go, there was like a last lap crash coming to the line. Everyone's saying that Brett Holmes should have won, which yeah, in some way he should have, but like there was like a really bad crash that happened during the race and the race had to be ended under caution. I mean, someone literally got their shoulder disconnected from what I've heard. Yeah. It was Blaine Perkins. He got rear ended by like, he got hit by like Johnny Sauter and Kristen Eckes at once, I think, but Ben Rhodes tried pushing Matt to Benedetto below the W line. That's where he got to the tire mark and the Benedetto nearly flipped over onto his roof, nearly flipped over. That's where the crinkled up decaling is right here. Awesome job from Lionel. I know, I know I give them crap, but like, this is some really good detail right here. So props to them for making this. You even got, you know, the, the you know, the exhaust pipe or the, you know, X pipe, whatever you want to call it. Go to the back end of the truck. You got the spoiler pivots or the, 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 the bed cover, the, you know, uh, um, pivots. And it's also a tailgate pretty much. You got Rackley with the breast cancer awareness uh, ribbon right there. You got Silverado number 25. Um, what does it say? I don't know what that says. You got the Chevrolet bow tie. I think there's more tape back here in marks as there is on the driver's side. Go to the back end of the truck. You got the Benedetto right there. I'm surprised there isn't no rookie stripes. You got, you know, the rear facing, you know, camera lights or the rear, the, the rear light. You got, you go right here as I bumped in the camera. Chevrolet right there with the bow tie. War shocks, uh, war stocks. Uh, um, uh, Whatever it says to feel the grip. You got number twenty five on the on the roof. Ironically. And if you want to see the interior detail, you can. I'm just gonna go in here. There's, you know, the seat that has like, you know, the arm, like the, you know, the thing that goes around the arm, like, you know, the the hands device. Uh you got the steering wheel, you got the gadgets inside the car, the truck, I meant. If you want to see the undercarriage as well, you can. So yeah, this is a very cool truck to have in your collection. And while while I'm at it, I may as well just bring in the Landon Castle car. Yeah, um, Landon Castle right here. And then 
and then Stenhouse. Um, this is gonna be a little hard to get Stenhouse. Just carefully. There you go. So I'd say this is a pretty good, you know, trio. Because um, at one point in 2022, my top, my, my favorite drivers in the all top three series was for Cup Stenhouse, for Xfinity Landon Castle, and for Trucks Matt DiBenedetto. So I do got Stenhouse's 2022. Uh, um, not I got a Sunny D car, but I meant like his Irish Spring Kroger car. Excuse me. So I think that would be a better fit to it. But going back to Matt DiBenedetto, like the the last diecast I got from DiBenedetto was, you know, his 2021 Dutch boy Menards car slash Menards die cast. I didn't get the NASCAR Fentix, you know, exclusive, um, unfortunately, of, of you know, his throwback to, you know, the Elliot Sadler, which I do have Elliot Sadler's um, 2002 um, 124 Motorcraft, Motorcraft car in from Racing Champions. I found that at a fresh shop. And, um... I, d I didn't get his primary 2022 truck, which is now rare, but I just figured since it's a Matt to Dado Dado diecast, may as well just get this truck. And there's more detail on the, sp on the spoiler right here. Just a very cool truck. You got even the window net right there. So yeah, I'm just glad Matt to Dado is still a NASCAR. I'm just, that's what I'm just glad for because I was afraid that after 2023, he was done, but thankfully RSS racing, Vikings Motorsports came together and they brought Matt Benedetto back. Granted, it's only for like part time, but still, it's better than nothing. And Matt Benedetto has actually done pretty well on this uh, free start so far. He's gotten two top twenty finishes and within those free starts, the other one I think he still got a top twenty five, even despite getting damaged. So he's in fairly all right equipment. So that's good to know, and, and Xfinity is much more advanced and much more, you know, better than the truck series right now. So just, that just shows you that Matt Benedetto has talent. Don't listen to what these idiots on Twitter are saying that, oh, he's talentless. He doesn't deserve a ride. He doesn't deserve nothing. Well, they don't look at racing reference. They don't look at nothing, just like with Landon Castle. And Matt Benedetto deserves more respect just because of that reason. He knows how to wield, you know, small teams to good finishes and also from what i've heard lionel the admin said that the we may get we may get the brett moffett talladega win 164 diecast from uh last year in 164 too so i'm looking forward to that if it ever gets made definitely going to pick that truck up so yeah i'm gonna end off this video this is matt this has been matt to you know 2022 um talladega truck win 164 scale if you did enjoy this diecast review make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn notification bell comment down below what you think about this diecast in particular um do you have it or not are you planning to get it soon or later so yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that thank you all thanks thank y'all thank thanks y'all so much for watching once again catch you in the next video peace out